Hey everyone, and welcome back to the channel. So in today's video, I'll be teaching us how to redirect an Elementor form or an Elementor form widget to the WhatsApp app using the uh, WordPress website builder for your Elementor plugin. So without further ado, let's have read it. So to actually do this is quite simple. And the first thing that you guys need to do is you wanna make sure that you're logged in as an administrator over at WordPress. And as you guys can see, here's what the dashboard looks like and here's where I'm at. And um, once you guys are logged in, you basically want to get to the site builder or the text editor for uh, WordPress. So uh, to access that, there are a couple ways to do it. So right off the bat, under quick links, there's a, there's a button that says edit site. And this should take you to the Elementor site builder. And uh, you can do so as well with the appearance, by hovering over appearance and clicking on editor as well as going to plugins and clicking on installed plugins. And from there, select Elementor. Or you can simply click on this. It doesn't really matter either way. Um, there are so many ways to get to the site builder for Elementor. Now, if you guys want to go want to go ahead and edit a specific page, or if I were to integrate a form widget to my about page, for example, as it's very fitting, you guys would want to go to all pages on WordPress, click on the ellipses or three dots and click on edit. And what's going to happen is you guys would be redirected to this page right here. So the idea here is um, once you guys have the editor open, you want to click on the search bar for the widgets and type down form. Now, I will tell you that the form widget is only available to people who have bought the Elementor Pro plan, but um, it's pretty much the same deal. You basically create a new container and simply drag that um, widget or that tool over to that container and configure it from there. And to show you guys what I mean, here's what it looks like real quick. So here's the actual form. And here you get to modify um, what type of form you want it to be. It can be like a web hook, uh, web hook form, it can be a MailChimp newsletter form or a sign up thingy or an email where you can configure, where you can input your name, email, message, and so on and so forth. And show you guys a little GIF right here. Here's what it looks like. And if you were to connect it to WhatsApp, it's quite simple. You guys would want to click on content right here. And under advanced, you should be uh, you should enter the uh, embed code for WhatsApp. And to extract that is quite simple. All you guys have to do is log into your WhatsApp account. And from there, you want to click on your profile icon and uh, get the link for your profile or embed. And show you guys what I mean. It's really that simple. So yeah, um, that's how you guys do it. So hopefully this video helped you guys out. And if it did, be sure to let us know down in the comment section below. And if you guys want to see more videos like these, we do have a YouTube channel where we do guides like these daily. So if you guys want to show your support that, you can do so by subscribing to the channel. So with all of that said, thank you all for watching, and we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.